Hi everyone, thank you for attending my presentation. I'm Bing Han Yang from Nankai University. I'm a PhD student. Today I'll introduce our accepted paper, Jointly Canonicalizing and Linking Open Knowledge Base While Unified Embedding Learning. Okay, let's begin. First, let's talk about the problem definition. Generally, knowledge bases can be classified into two types. Curated knowledge bases and open knowledge bases CKBs are constructed while cross-sourcing and closed information extraction, and here are some notable examples of CKBs. Uh, in these CKBs, each entity is canonicalized and well-defined with its unique identifier. However, the knowledge in CKBs is still far from complete, and the update of CKBs usually requires significant human involvement. In contrast, OKBs are composed of open domain triples extracted from massive unstructured web data by open information extraction techniques. So compared to CKBs, the coverage and diversity of OKBs are typically much higher. However, there is also more noise in OKBs due to the lack of unique identifiers of, of non-phrases and relation phrases in OKB triples. For instance, here are two triples in the OKB. It can be seen that Elon Reeve mask and Elon mask are two distinct non-phrases, but referring to the same entity. But it's unwell for the machines, unfortunately, because they do not share the same identifier. So when we query the OKB using the term Elon mask, the first triple would not be returned, which hinders the downstream applications. And it's the same for the relation phrases in blue. So to canonicalize OKBs and achieve better knowledge integration between CKBs and OKBs, OKB canonicalization and OKB link linking are proposed as two important tasks. OK, here are their definitions. OKB canonicalization is a task of canonicalizing OKB triples by clustering non-phrases with the same semantic meaning into a group. And OKB linking is a task of linking non-phrases in an OKB with their corresponding entities in a CKB. From the definitions, we can see that these two tasks are tightly coupled and complementary with each other. And one, ca one task can benefit significantly from the, from the other. However, previous studies just solve these two tasks separately, and in this work, we aim to explore the method to make these two tasks reinforce each other. To begin with, based on the coupling of these two tasks mentioned, we make two crucial assumptions. Here's the assumption one. Here, the green tick means it's a high confidence linking. If two long phrases are linked to the same entity with high confidence via OKB linking, then these two long phrases could be regarded as a canonicalized state for OKB canonicalization, which means they should be grouped together. And assumption two, we can get it similarly. If two non phrases are clustered to the same group with high quality via OKB canonicalization, and meanwhile, one of them is linked to an entity with high confidence, uh, the other long phrases and the referred entity could be regarded as a linking state for OKB linking. Uh, as shown in the figure, long phrases N1 and N3 are clustered into the same group, and N1 is linked to the entity E1 with high confidence. Uh, so we think N3 should be linked to the E1 too, instead of its original counterpart E2. Based on the two assumptions, we propose a new framework named Clue to tackle OKB canonicalization and OKB linking simultaneously and enable these two tasks to benefit each other. Firstly, as shown in step one, we jointly encode the OKB and the CKB into a unified embedding space with multitask learning. And then, to further improve the performance of both tasks, we propose an EM-based ba EM algorithm algorithm to iteratively refine the unified embedding space. In the E step, we perform OKB linking and OKB canonicalization based on the unified embedding space, obtained as shown in table uh, step two and stable fi uh, step five. And based on the results, OKB canonicalization and OKB linking can generate high quality training seeds for each other based on our proposed two assumptions. Finally, 
these newly generated states are leveraged in the step in the M step uh, step nine to further refine the unified embedding space and its uh, iteration. To be specific, in step one, we employ multitask learning to jointly encode the OKB and the CKB into a unified embedding space. The hypothesis behind multitask learning is that the tasks are closely related and thus um, training with the same module can share knowledge and benefit each other. And this aligns well with our OKB canonicization and the linking OKB linking tasks. So we, we employ basic train C to know the structure for both OKB and CKB with their own triples. And train C here can be also replaced by other KG embedding methods. Mm. And the canonical laws aims to narrow the distance between canonical C's, which means that the two long phrases and uh, the, it's the same for the linking laws. It aims to narrow the distance between the long phrases and its corresponding entities. Then let's move to the step of canonicalization state generation. The green tick means high quality, uh, high confidence linking, and the red cross means low confidence ones. It can be seen that N1 and N2 are both linked to the entity E1 with high confidence. According to the assumption one, N1 and N2 should be clustered together and they form a canonical canonicalization state. And the same for N4 and N5. To define what's high confidence linking, we design a novel margin-based linking metric. It focuses on how much the sim similarity score of the predicted entity surpasses other candidates' similarities. Mm, and a large margin between the highest and the second highest of similarity score represents a high confidence linking. And then let's move to the step of linking seed generation. It can be seen that the cluster containing N1, N2, and N3 is a high quality cluster and most of the long phrases in it are linked to the entity one. So N3 should be also be linked to E1 instead of its original predicted entity E2 according to our assumption two. And they form a new linking seed. To define what's a high quality canonicalization cluster, we design an entropy-based cluster metric. Following the intuition that cluster with lower uncertainty is of higher quality, we quantity its uncertainty by mirroring the disagreement among the linking predictions of long phrases in, in the cluster. And a high uncertainty means a low quality uh, as it. And based on these two metrics introduced uh, before, we can obtain scores for each linking pair and uh, canonicalization cluster. However, apart from the scores, a uh, criterion is also needed to classify these scores into high quality ones and low quality ones. Considering that a fixed threshold is not flexible enough, we employ curriculum learning to select data adaptively as iteration progresses. In the initial iteration, we need a relatively high threshold to figure out noise. And where the iteration progresses, the knowledge in our framework becomes more precise. So more clusters can be viewed as high quality clusters uh, to generate new seeds. And two ben public benchmark datasets are used in the experiments. Sorry. For the task of OKB canonicalization, we adopt the same evaluation on mirror as previous works. To give an overall evaluation, we calculate average F1 as the average of macro F1, micro F1, and pairwise F1. And for the task of OKB linking, we adopt the accuracy. And here are the statistics of our two data sets. And from the results shown in table one and table two, we can see that our framework outperforms all, all the baselines in terms of average F1 for the task of OKB canonicalization. And from the results, we can see that we, our framework also outperforms all the baselines 
in, the ter in terms of accuracy for the task of OKB linking. We also define three variants of our framework by removing different components of our framework uh, as introduced before. From the experimental results in figure four, we can see that uh, each component include has a positive contribution to the overall performance, and when they are uh, combined together, it yields the best performance. And here's the conclusion. In this paper, we propose a novel joint framework that encodes the OKB and the CKB into a unified embedding space to tackle OKB canonicalization and OKB linking tasks simultaneously and make them reinforce each other. And to further improve the performance of both tasks, we design an EM-based algorithm to iteratively refine the unified embedding space with two elaborately designed metrics and curriculum learning. And finally, a thorough experimental study over two benchmark data sets shows that our framework outperforms all the baselines for both tasks in terms of average F1 and accuracy. And, and that's all, thank you. <laughs>